Today I saw a great presentation by Chelsea Moyer at Ehovi who used Google Forms to create a parent contact um, record, a logbook, so that we should, uh, so we can use it to record all of our communications with parents and students. And to do that, we'll go into Google and we'll choose a new Google Form. And I just really thought it was brilliant and I wanted to share it with you. So we'll create a blank form and we will call this Parent Communication Log. You can name it whatever you want. That's what I'm going to name it. And it is a form for me, the teacher, to fill out when I contact a parent. And so there I've got their first name. Duplicate that. Last name, because I may want to search by their last name. Uh, method of contact. And you probably will have more methods of contact than I have. But I'm going to start with phone. That was my favorite. Email. Letter. In person. And I'm sure you'd have many more. Uh, let's see. I would definitely want an area for my notes that I'm going to take. And I'm sure you'd have other boxes. Maybe you would want to also include the number, the phone number in which you used, if that's a choice. We can drag that up here. Anyways, this is for you to use. And so to use it, you would go into Preview, and you would make the phone call or send the email and you would fill out the information. So, and just enter the information as you made the call and then type in whatever notes you want and then you hit submit. I'm going to add a bunch more notes special language there and I hit submit and you might be thinking well what's so great about that that's just like putting it on a regular piece of paper well what you can do is uh, every time you create uh, have contact with a parent or a student you this response number would grow in Google Forms and so you can imagine that maybe being 30 or 40 different responses you click the responses you can see each uh, bit of information which is helpful but what is really nice is you click this green Google Sheets button, and it'll send all those responses over to a spreadsheet that will contain the timestamp of when you called, the date and time, uh, and all the information that you collected. And this would be searchable. You could um, organize it by last name, by first name. It'll keep all the information together. This is a great way to serve you, the teacher, to keep a record of the context that you're making so you can help the students and so you can help the parents. It's also good with your administration because um, part of our OTES evaluation were to keep a record of all the context that we have. And so you could drag emails into a folder, but it, this would uh, organize all those other thoughts. And really when you sit down with parent-teacher conference and things like that, uh, you could use these records and these documents to serve you well. So I just thought I'd show you that. I thought it was brilliant.